Hello friends, this is Navdeep Singh from hitbullseye.com. In our today's video lecture, we'll be discussing about how to prepare questions related to books and authors. Now in that, firstly, we'll be discussing about the strategy for such questions. Then we'll also look into the factual parts, that is some certain classical books and their particular authors, certain foreign books and also certain contemporary books or important books which have especially won some prizes in the international fora. So starting with the strategy of preparing such questions. Firstly, it will be very important for us to look into current affairs for preparing such questions. And in that current affairs, we have to look into questions which have won certain awards, such as book by Marlon James, A Brief History of Seven Killings, which had won the Man Booker Prize for 2015, is important. Another example is Saturn Island, that by Tom McCarthy. So that is also important. So certain other books, for example, which have won the Pulitzer Prize, which has won the Washington State Awards, and other books are very, very important from our examination point of view. Apart from the books related to current affairs, we also have to be ready with books which have been in certain kind of controversy in the recent times. For example, author Taslima Nasreen. Now this is a Bangladeshi author who has been in news because of her critical writings. So her writings have become very important as of today. Also Salman Rushdie who has also written certain texts which have not been taken in good humor by certain section of the population. His book Midnight's Children and Satanic Verses have been again very questionable. So certain or such authors and their books are again very important. We should also give focus on certain all-time favorites. These are not exactly the classical books that we have in India, but these are books which are evergreen. For example, books by the father of the nation, Gandhiji, that of India of my dreams, and another book, Satyagraha. The book by Jawaharlal Nehru, the first prime minister of the country, such as Discovery of India and Independence, book by Abul Kalam Azad and other freedom fighters or other important personalities that we have in the country. So certain books and texts written by these personalities also become important from our examination point of view. Another area is that of classicals. Now we have to keep in mind certain classical texts in the country. We also know that India is the religious capital of the world. So because of that, we have high amount of or high number of books in the country regarding intellectualism. Books such as Mahabharata, Ramayana, their particular epics and all these are again very, very important from the examination point of view. Taking further from the queue of classical books, now we have to look into certain important books in the classical category which we should keep in mind. Most important of these is the Earth Shastra written by Chanakya. This is a book regarding administrative system or how a prince should administer his country. Kapal Sutra by Bhadra Bahu. The story of Rama depicted in Bhati Kavya by Bhatti. Again, Manu wrote the Manu Samriti. This is again regarding administrative matters. Panini wrote Ashtya Dhyayi. So all these books, apart from we all know the Ramayana written by Valmiki and Mahabharata written by Ved Vyas, all these classicals are important from our point of view. These were the classical books written by certain Indians or were important in the Indian context. We also have to look into classical books in the foreign sphere also. In this there are books such as those written by Aristophanes, The Clouds, Aristotle wrote Oragonon, Plato's Republican Symposium, Homer wrote The Odyssey, Tolstoy's War and Peace, other authors such as by Stephen Hawkins, The Brief History of Time, William Shakespeare wrote a very popular classical foreign book, A Midnight Summer's Night Dream, 
Immanuel Kant, a very, very acclaimed or very highly acclaimed writer, he wrote a critique of pure reason. Gunnar Middle, the economist, he wrote The American Dilemma and the Asian Dream. George Bernard Shaw, Man, Superman and Pygmalion. These were important foreign books. We also have very important books such as the Communist Manifesto written by Karl Marx. Rawlings, J.K. Rawlings wrote Harry Potter and the series. So this is again important from foreign point of view. Napoleon Hill, he wrote The Think and Grow Rich. So these are certain books which in the foreign domain have become very important for us to be aware of. We also have The Alchemist. We also have The Black Beauty written by Anna Sewell. The Mark of Zorro written by Johnston McCulley. Worship Down by Richard Adams. So certain or such books which we need to be aware of for our purpose. Apart from these foreign books, we also have to be aware of certain contemporary books. Now these books are those which have been in news or which have won awards in the foreign sphere or in India as well. So it is important for us to be aware of these books. Lawrence Hill wrote The Illegal. It won the Canada Reads Award. Andre Alexi, he wrote The 15 Dogs. This was the winner of Scotia Bank Award as well as the Rogers Award. Leslie Jones wrote Night Hush. This was awarded with the RITA Awards. Rather, it was one of the nominees of RITA Awards. Now, Stalin's Daughter was written by Rosemary Sullivan. Now, this had won the RBC Taylor's Prize. Hence, again, very important for us to be aware of. We've read about Marlon James' Brief History of Seven Killings, which had won the Man Booker Prize for 2015. So it is one of the most important books that we have discussed about today. Anthony Dewar wrote The All Light We Cannot See. This had won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. Bruce Hallward wrote The Hour of Lead. This had won the Washington State Prize. So these are important books. We also have Nisid Hajari, Midnight's Fury, The Deadly Legacy of India's Partition, which tells us about the scenario in 1947, how India was partitioned and the situation or the situation of the society at that point in time. Sanjeev Sahota's Year of Runway is also important. Now, the narrow road to knee deep north was written by Richard Flanagan. A little life which had won, which was one of the nominees for Man Booker Prize, is also important, which was written by Hena Yanagihara. So all these books are very important for us to be aware of, and we can prepare our question regarding books and authors by looking into certain sections as we have discussed today. For example, and I would again repeat, the foreign section, the classicals and the contemporary. So this is how we can prepare questions regarding to books and authors in our examination. Thank you very much.